To determine how many samples are enough is a really difficult question. We looked at Dr. Brinkman's study in Alaska and he had 750 samples. We knew that if we got at least 750 samples, we would be in good shape in terms of our study. Um, so in 2017, we had 289 samples that we sent in, and only 89 of those yielded DNA. So that's a, a whole set of 200 that just didn't, didn't work and, and failed, um, and, and that's exactly why this um, having enough samples is a difficult situation. Um, so we had 289 samples, um, 89 of those were viable, and of those, 56 unique deer were identified. So that means of those 89, 56 were individuals and a remainder of those animals were actually recaptured. So we've done this, stu this study for two to three years now, so they could have identified an individual in 2017 that was actually marked or identified in 2016 or 2015. The difficult thing is, once you collect a sample from the field, that does not mean that it's a viable sample. It only is usable if it actually has DNA. So females have an X and an X, and males have an X and a Y, and we use a primer solution to isolate the XX or the XY for that sample.